Hi, Joe Broncato, the air gun scientist. We get a couple of calls every week about people that have SCBA tanks. Um, SCBA shouldn't be confused with SCUBA, which often people say. Uh, SCUBA stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Firemen don't go underwater, so they don't have a U in it. It's SCBA, SCUBA without the U. Hence, now you know where SCBA came from. They've got an SCBA valve. You can tell which an SCBA valve is because threads are on the outside here. Okay, they usually have that gauge here, something like this. this is the typical types. Um, so how do you connect them to your air gun? Well, you buy something like this from us. Okay, this is our SCBA hose assembly. Uh, it's all stainless steel. Uh, but the thing I want to show you here is you need something that screws onto the tank here, a gauge and a bleeder to let the air out, and then, of course, a hose with a connector on the end. So this would go on here, just like this. You'd screw this on by hand, okay? And after you did that, air would come out when you open this valve. The issue is these tanks are made for breathing, hence they blow air fast. Just a little bit. That's an SCBA valve. We do tell people another way to go is with our TJ3 valve. Now our TJ3 valves blow a lot slower because they're made to fill air guns, not for breathing. I don't know if you can hear the difference on Radio Land or whatever we call YouTube today, YouTube Land, but there's a big difference between the amount of air that just blew out of this. Full throttle. And this with just a small okay? So this is our TJ3, and that just simply screws into an SCBA tank all the way down, and it'll seal on that O-ring. You don't have to use tape or anything. Simple as that. Then you get a self-contained valve that has the first gauge that shows you what's going in your gun, the second gauge that's going in your uh, that's remaining air that's in the tank, and then you also get a hose that quick disconnects onto the tank clicks off. You don't have to use a wrench. Also, now you can fill it up at a paintball store or take this off, fill it up at the scuba shop. The other end of the hose has the quick disconnect, which connects to your gun. Just like that. And you're done. So, we just thought we'd do a real fast video, show you um, the two ways that you can use an SCBA to fill your gun, either using the original SCBA valve with our SCBA hose assembly, or just do the easy way and convert it over with the TJ3 that screws right in there and you're done. And you don't have to torque it down. Like I said, it's just hand tight with the O-ring. So that's Joe from the Air Gun Scientist. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and God bless.